welcome back to my channel uh, today we're gonna be doing another drawing uh, this time is gonna be from the Powerpuff Girls and we're gonna keep it with the Halloween theme so let's start first by drawing his head uh, so the character I decided to go is him a really strange character um, a very spooky one too from this show okay so I start first with a with a noble okay for the head and then I'm gonna start planning the the body so I'm gonna start making the legs like this character has like very long legs so I'm gonna start with um, two lines hopefully you guys can see it uh, two lines and then meeting in a point okay you know like making like a horn <clears throat> now let's make uh, his arms well I'm starting with the one of the sides so making it with two lines here and I'm gonna end up by making a circle for the hands Okay, I'm kind of giving a like a very dynamic pose. Um, same. I'm gonna go with the other arm. I'm gonna add another circle, making it slightly bigger since I want it to be closer to the viewer. Okay. So this show was created by um, Crack My Kraken. I think I'm saying it right. And it came out like in 1998. And this character was voiced by uh, Tom Kane. Uh, he also did the voice for Professor Etonium and some other character, I think is the talking dog. So it's really interesting to see like um, how this um, act voice actor can actually make different kind of voices. Because him, this character, it's very unique. Okay, so I did the ear, okay? Kind of like making it like into a um, drop, like a teardrop shape. And I'm gonna start making a little bit of the features of the face. Okay, the nose is kind of like a pointy, so here, I'm gonna start adding a little bit of the hair. Kind of makes me think of uh, Count Dracula, like the old style, where it was like kind of two almost. Once I start doing the inking, you're gonna be able to see a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna make the smile. This character is always smiling, like really evilish. And let's make his eyes. So yeah, this character is uh, very interesting, it has like a very feminine um, way of uh, talking, uh, he can be really scary once he goes into action and he's kind of like a supernatural character so he has like, they're, like really interesting um, powers. Okay, let's do a little bit of the fluff around his clothes. Uh, those are done by kind of like doing like swirls. Um, okay. Okay, right there. And then same thing here for the clothes. Okay. Now let's kind of start working a little bit on the hands. I'm gonna start making a little bit of the teardrop shape because his hands are kind of like claws like a like a crab claw and now I get to make it here same thing here and start kind of giving a little bit more shape okay same thing here and I'm gonna start giving a little bit more shape to his uh, shoes uh, 
Okay, now I got that. Let's start kind of inking this character. I'm gonna be using my number eight. Okay, I'm gonna start working on him. For the really thick lines, I'm gonna I'm gonna start painting on it. Well, not painting. I'm gonna be using a brush and um, an ink. Okay, so I got that. Let's do the hair. Like I say, it has those kind of Dracula entrance. Let's make the evil eyes that he has. So yeah, when I when I watch this show, it will be like Saturday morning. Uh, they used to give it in Colombia like a really <laughs> weird time, like um, uh, 7 a.m. Of course, you wouldn't be awake but uh, for some reason I will wake up like early since it's, um, it was Saturday to just watch the show. Okay, so I'm giving a little bit of lipstick. Kind of making it thick to thin. Go with the teeth. Okay, so let's do the ears. Okay, got one. Oh, well, let's do the swirl for the clothes. Like I said, I start sketching it, so some of the stuff kind of changes as I'm going. So I kind of start feeling a little bit more along the way. And let's start doing the arm. I'm gonna start thin, thick. make that here go again with the fluff for his clothes and let's do over here kind of adding the belt that he usually has so yeah this character is really interesting I like his voice he's really he has like a really flamboyant um, way of speaking and he's really, like I said, he's really evil. Um, he always kind of like works in, within the minds of people. He's not like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna make a plan and create like some kind of like weapon no he is he's kind of the embodiment of evil in in this cartoon okay so so far so good i'm gonna kind of go here with the arms i'm gonna be making i'm gonna be making the lines right here and I'm gonna start making the claws. Okay, kind of making it like super quick. So, so the video can doesn't take that long. Okay, so I have him now. I'm gonna start doing a little bit of the eyelashes that he has uh, and then I'm gonna start by using this ink um, I think it's Indian ink and I'm gonna be using a brush to kind of speed up uh, some of the process Hold there you go I always like to use it from the from the lid and it gets really messy as you can see like one little drop can really um, mess your work 
I'm gonna start painting now. Not painting, I'm gonna kind of start inking the legs. This ink, the good thing about it is that it dries really quick, so I don't really have to worry about uh, thinking like, oh, this is going to take forever. Okay, you can see like it's really quick using the brush kind of ink the black parts. I like using the brushes. Uh, it's really, really fun. Okay, let's fill in the other leg. So yeah, this is another character that I choose for this um, Halloween series of videos. Try to go in the direction that the that the either object you're um, inking. Try not to be going up and down, the left and right, because it kind of like it shows at the end. Like if you really look up close. Okay, let's do a little bit of the hair right here. And fill it in and right here. to be very careful when I'm inking. Uh, I did say that it dries really quick. Um, but of course it's gonna be a little bit wet at the very beginning so I kind of like uh, lean against the paper. I'm gonna be like um, smudging everything. Okay. Kind of like I uh, wanna leave it that there and finish the rest with the marker for his hair, the chin. Connecting it, there you go. I'm gonna use a really thin marker. I'm gonna use the 0.5 to kind of do a little blush in his chin. And there you have it. That's him from the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, I hope you like it and consider to subscribe if you want to see more of this content and thank you for the likes and I'll be seeing you in the next video.